Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Welcome to MBA Unfiltered. My name is Akash Shinde. In this video, we are going to have a candid conversation with Rakshit, who has done with this BAT examination. For those of you who don't know what BAT, it's kind of a beat spilani MBA program. It is very renowned program, and you are gonna get a lot to learn from Rakshit. Rakshit, welcome back to our channel. How are you? Oh, I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great. So, Rakshit, let us know about your profile. Tenth, twelfth, UG. Work experience as well as the achievements and extracurricular activities that you had in your bucket. So I've, uh, I've done my schooling and my till schooling till tenth in my hometown, and I had a, a a score of ninety four percent, and I've done eleventh well in Karnataka and Mangalore. I had a, a, a total score of eighty five percent, and uh, my PCMC score was ninety five percent. And my I've done my graduation from RV College in civil engineering. I uh, had a CGP of seven point six, and uh, extracurricular I was a very I was a leading club member. And other than that, I am a young gunner. That's a Royal, Royal Enfield campus ambassador. I had an internship with Royal Enfield for six months. And uh, for last one and a half year, yeah. And for the last one and a half year, I'm looking after my family business. Uh, we have a nursing center in our hometown. It's a forty bedded hospital. I'm looking after the total management, overall management. So that's all about my introduction. Okay, that's quite interesting. You have a lot of things in your plate, and you did engineering from one of the top most institute when it comes to engineering. So, Rakshit, the first question that comes to my mind is, what is the motto of being an MBA for you? You could have gone for traditional ways, maybe M Tech. Or you could have chose your path to pursue your career in family business. So uh, I think MBA. Why I want to do an MBA is it will give me a structured knowledge of how business works. Because a, a management job can be done by anyone with a few years of experience, but to scale it and to do it the aim of perfection, you need a structured knowledge from a well-known institute in, institution. So that's one of the reason for MBA, and it will also give me big opportunities in future, like to work in some big big firms. Okay. So that's my future okay, for that, MBA. Okay, that's that's quite great. So Rakshit, uh, since you are done with the Beats Pilani interview experience, could you share some nuances for the people who are aspiring for BART? In that, uh, let us know about you know the panel, how the panel was, how many people were there in the interview, what kind of questions that were asked to you, and how you responded mm. to these uh, questions. Mm. So, bad exam is actually for a MBA, completely for a single stream. That's business analytics, and this is the only course they offer in Bits Pilani. And other MBA courses are offered by Bits in uh, a Mumbai, a different campus that's in Mumbai. That's Bits on. For that, you have to go through CAT, ZAT, and uh, G GMAT. So, BAT. Uh, so this uh, business analytic course is completely focused on an uh, analytic part. That's uh, statistics and coding. So most of my questions. Uh, there were two panelists. Uh, one uh, one ma'am was uh, Jayashree ma'am and uh, Pravin Goel sir. So, so uh, ma'am was for completely asking questions about my experience in management. And what was the what was the reason I was switching career from civil to management, and again from uh, MBA. Uh, so the, uh, she asked me questions regarding uh, some training protocols that we do in our in in our hospital, and uh, how she gave me some practical situations and how would I handle see the how would you check the capability of your employees, and other questions related to were uh, completely based on statistics. Uh, he, uh, the uh, the gentleman was asking me about real life applications of the st some of the statistics terms in in our center. So other than that, that uh, it was a very short interview. It was just a twenty five to thirty minute interview. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, uh, you know how you prepared for this interview. You know what kind of resources that you used and. Uh... Basically, what happens? People from non-technical and technical background mm -hmm. both are preparing for this interview, right? So, I you know mm -hmm. uh, how you uh, use your time. How, what kind of resources have you used there? So, so the first thing you can do is uh, you can directly contact the people who have gone through this process. That's uh, already the existing uh, candidates of uh, who have already joined the college. 
So you can look for them through LinkedIn or Facebook or Instagram who are studying in Bitspilani and uh, that not the Bitsa, the Bitspilani campus. You can easily contact them. Like they, they're really interactive and they're really open to give suggestions. So actually I contacted one of uh, one of the senior uh, 2025 graduate student from, I, I contacted a few people. So uh, I, I met, uh, I think his name was Ishwar. He gave me a lot of insights of why, what exactly the interview will be. He said the interview will be more focused on statistics and probability. And I had no experience in coding. He also uh, suggested me to learn few basics of coding. Other than that, I had uh, interacted few more people. Uh, you can also contact, uh, get, in, get in touch with few people through link, uh, Telegram also. There are, you can find numerous groups of uh, many colleges. And if you want an uh, example, like Bitspilani also. Okay. And other than that, uh, what I did was I did some mock interviews. Uh, one interview was from Cat King and few other from, I think there was one more channel, should mm-hmm. I mention? Uh, that is okay. I had, uh, I had uh, two mock interviews from that. Uh, it, it helped me prepare well. But uh, at last it comes all down to your personal interview because it, it can be random because uh, my mock interviews were completely different from the real interview. Okay. Real interview, the uh, PI interview was uh, very random and unexpected. Okay. Could you let us know the statistics question that we asked you? Could you uh, share some light on the some of the questions? Okay. Statistics, uh, statistics questions. For, for The first question was, what are, what is the mean? And what are the type of mean? Arithmetic mean, geometric mean, and harmonic mean? And uh, I was asked uh, what's the definition of geometric mean and what are its uh, real life application. Uh, after that, um, other questions were uh, I was asked uh, if uh, we use any ma- statistical or mathematical model in our uh, in our management uh, in a role of uh, management of people in queues and all. And uh, the I'll just check. Actually, I had made a list of questions. Okay. Mean, geometric mean, real life examples, and mathematical modeling in queues. Uh, I think this was, this was all the statistics question. I was not asked many statistics question. Other questions were mostly related to work life. And work related, okay. work related questions. Okay. And what are so the probability the, questions that were asked you? Probably, I was not. I was. I was. I was only asked what's the probability distribution. That was the only question regarding probability. Okay, understood. Uh, could you let us know? You know, since a lot of students are also going through BART examinations, how these students are prepared for this examination, and what kind of question they are asked to these people. Uh, it was uh, mainly the questions were related to statistics. A lot of questions were statistics and a lot of people were asked about, uh, people who had coding experience were uh, given a lot of coding questions. They were asked to st- uh, share the screen and uh, give, given problems regarding coding. And uh, they are asked to code about some of the ex- uh, questions they asked to code in code and uh, uh, and regarding that question, they are, after the code was written, Many questions were asked over the code also. Okay. And other than that, many um, the questions were mostly questions were focused on work experience. Got it. So, Rakshit, uh, what's your piece? Last piece of advice to the people who are appearing for bad examinations. Tell us that these are the things that they should prepare and these are the things that they should avoid during this interview experience. So, thing if you are focused over bad. Uh, your statistics must be really good. Statistics, probability, and mathematics. The, you should really make uh, good strength in the basics of these three subjects. And if you have a background in code, coding, your coding basics should be really good because they last a uh, very specific question on coding. And even though if you're, on, if you're giving good answers, they'll still keep more, asking more difficult questions. They won't stop answering questions. The most... Uh, I, the best preparation you can do is you should cover everything and attend many mock interviews. Thank you so much, Rakshit, for sharing the knowledge. I hope this interview will definitely yeah, help the upcoming you. aspirants who are uh, looking for BART and whatever things that you told, maybe in terms of stats, probability, as well as, uh, you know, if you are a fresher, yeah. just 
go through your final year project as well as whatever projects that you did in your final year as well as uh, you know the work ex people they should prepare thoroughly to do their work experience you know the roles responsibilities mm. as well as the impact that they that they created on the clients uh thank you so much again for joining with us thank you